Well, Giannis said what he said. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and tonight I'm going to talk about comments that two-time MVP and finals MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo said about signing a long-term uh, you know, deal with the Milwaukee Bucks. If nobody get comfortable out there, people get comfortable, I'll look elsewhere, basically. Um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platform, DM me, highlight at me, reach out to me, whatever. I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. Uh, so y'all go down there and check that out and, um, and come highlight at your boy, yo. Um, first off, for Giannis, man, where was this feeling a couple of years ago? <laughs> when the Miami Heat, when we were really in pursuit to try and derail Giannis in, um, you know, he decided to stay in Milwaukee, and hey, it worked out for him. I mean, they swept us in the first round, and he, he ended up winning that elusive championship ring. It was pretty impressive. Uh, we back to this state again. Now, look, if the Heat end up getting Dame Lillard, which I'm hoping is any day now, then, you know, we really don't have no need for Giannis, to be honest with you. Um, but if Portland does pull a sucker move and keep him or trade him elsewhere, uh, then obviously we still going to be out there star, star searching. And uh, should we potentially get in on a Giannis answer the Kupo conversation? The problem is that with that is how much of a fit would it be? You know, defensively, he would make us elite, beyond elite, him and Bam down there. But the thing is, we got Bam. So how would... You know, they both are basically power forwards. We use Bam as a center, but Bam is more so of a power forward. So the floor spacing would be terrible, <laughs> especially with Jimmy, who is really not a perimeter shooter, though he does get streaky in the playoffs. Um, the, floor, the floor spacing with a Jimmy, a Giannis, and a Bam out there all at the same time would, would be horrible. Um, you know, lanes would be clogged and all that other good stuff. But obviously you would love to still have him because he's, you know, Giannis. <laughs> um, but, you know, with Milwaukee, man, they're in an interesting spot because my Heat, speaking of my Heat, we went there and absolutely shocked the world by beating him in a five-game series to where Mike Budenhauser gets fired literally, what, two years or so after winning the whole doggone thing. Um, you know, now Adrian Griffin comes in who has little experience of being a head coach, nevertheless, you know, leading a championship contending team. We'll see how that go. You know, it worked for Toronto, you know, years ago when, when Nick Nurse was a new coach and they ended up winning it with Nick Nurse in his first year, who also got ended up getting fired by Toronto, by the way, and, and now is in Philly. Um, but you know they got they did resign Chris Middleton. They did resign Lopez. Uh, they still got Drew Holiday over there. Though all those guys are a year older, still you know they do got their core four over there to try to make a really um, you know a real push at this thing again, man. But yeah, I think ultimately, man, um, Giannis ain't going nowhere. I know he said what he said, but I think Mil the Milwaukee Bucks, um, being a Heat fan, looking from the outside in, I think they do got a good organization. And I think they are trying to do whatever they can do, you know, to build a winner around this this generational talent in Giannis. So um, I think at the end of the day, Giannis, whether he wins another one or not, I think he'll appreciate the fact. Giannis is not somebody that's going to just go jump to the lake or nothing like that, you know. So, um, you know, yeah, you know, so basically the thing is, unless they get into a situation like Portland where it's a complete rebuild, I don't think Giannis is going to really want to go nowhere, man. But we're going to see how it play out, man. Um, as a Heat fan, hey, you know, I love to, love to meet him in the playoffs again, hopefully with Dame on our team, though. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I'm going to have Miami Heat, NBA, and content on my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Let's go Heat.